All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to get started with our semifinals. I actually misspoke. I thought it was going to be Kieran taking on Austin in the semifinals, but he'll be taking on uh, Zachary Snyder of Iowa City Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And here in our first semifinal matchup of the men's ski absolute, we have on the left-hand side Austin Baker of Gracie Baja North Phoenix. And on the right-hand side, we have Breaking Point Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu co-owner Nate Fenton. Nate looks to pull guard immediately. Austin in that same over-under position that we've been seeing him work from a lot today. And now we see it with the gi grips uh, low on the ankle there. And then that underhook grip on the left-hand side pulls him all the way to the middle of the mat and then uses that momentum to get past the guard. But Nate's able to get his shin back in there and re-guard, trying to push the head to the opposite side. Now looking to get that shin in front of the face. He had an opportunity for a triangle there, but Austin was able to shimmy his shoulders back in. Now in the half guard of Nate Fenton. Nate's look looking to make sure that Austin can't connect that right arm to his head. Uh, once Austin connects that right arm to his head, he's going to have a chest-to-chest -chest connection, and it's going to be really difficult for him to create space uh, with a much bigger man on top of him here in this position. Austin looks patient here, looking for an opportunity to use that right arm again to connect to the neck of Nate Fenton and get himself with a chest-to-chest -chest connection so that he can continue in this dominant guard passing display that we've seen from him all day. And there he switches to the opposite side, a beautiful pass to the left-hand side. No points being scored at this time, so it's still a 0-0 match. Just about a minute and a half here into the match. Austin on top and side control. Nate also looking patient here, keeping those frames in on the near side ribs of Austin Baker looking for his opportunity to create a little bit of space and get himself back in a position where he can attack. Austin sitting out to the inside hip, possibly looking to step over the head here. He's got a gi grip on the near side, so look out for that. He might be trying to, to work something in there. And there he's able to get both knees in and now he's into that knee on belly position again no points being scored at this time we are just about 45 seconds away from the point scoring portion of this match a six minute match where the first three minutes are not scored and the final three minutes are austin switches to the opposite side just a beautiful display of guard passing and dominant position that we've seen from austin baker here throughout the day nate looks unbothered by the position though Austin's looking for a Kimura grip on that far side elbow. He looks, he's able to, to get that elbow up off the mat, but with Nate's frame, it's going to be difficult to get the wrist grip that he needs to get that Kimura. Nate turns up to his side, and we're going to see Austin go to the back the way we've seen him go all damn day. Just an overall beautiful display of jiu-jitsu we've seen from Austin Baker, our advanced no-gi absolute champion, and potentially looking for an opportunity to win the gi advance, advanced gi absolute as well here with a, uh, a dominant performance thus far against Nate Fenton in the semifinals. Although, that said, we are now into the point scoring portion of the match, and it is still 0-0 because of the way that the matches work out here at Subspectrum. He's got that seatbelt grip. Nate's got a good two-on-one there on his choking arm, um, but he's going to need to get his head to the mat underneath Austin's uh, left arm in order to get himself uh, in a position to escape here. So Austin removes the hooks and then puts them in, which will score him three points in here. So we are now a 3-0 match with Austin Baker on top, both in the point scoring position and physically on top of Nate Fenton here in a very dominant position with both hooks in. Belly down, this is nasty. This is not a good place for you to have a 240 pound man on your back. I can only imagine the pressure that Nate Fenton's feeling in his lower back right now. The 240 pound man with both hooks in, driving his hips in, looking for a rear naked choke finish. I'm assuming there on the far side, a little bit difficult to see from where I'm at. And in the background, you see Kieran Kichuk on the other side of the bracket. He will be in our second semifinal, looking on at who he could potentially face there in the finals. I think he's taking a nap on his own shoulder.
And now with the, the mount being scored, it is a 5-0 match here for Austin Baker. He's got an Ezekiel choke there as he transitions to the back. Nate Fenton looked like he was discomforted there for just a moment, but he is, uh, looks like he has been able to break those grips apart. Austin's had to readjust, um, but now he's going rear naked choke. He does have the hand underneath the chin. I don't believe he's got the full forearm, though. Austin looking to sneak that left hand grip in, and now he's going for a bow and arrow on the opposite side. I think this is going to be another bow and arrow finish, and we do see another bow and arrow finish, just like we saw K Kieran Kichuk hit uh, against Josh Hamilton in the quarterfinals. We see Austin Baker finish via bow and arrow choke against Nate Fenton in the semifinals, and he will advance to the finals of our advanced Gi Absolute, where he'll be waiting to watch the other semifinal between Kieran Kichuk and Zack Snyder. Both gentlemen getting their black belts tied here. Shout out to the black belts uh, coming out and supporting the event. Um, Subspectrum used to not have very many black belts compete at it, and in the last year, we've had more black belts compete than we ever have. Um, due in part to the fact that we offer free registration for all black belts. Black belts compete free at Subspectrum, so if you're a black belt that's out there, you're looking to get into a cash prize bracket, uh, and you want an opportunity to be on a live streamed event, hit us up, and we will get you a coupon code to get you registered for free and you can compete in all of our divisions including cash prize absolutes for no cost to you.